What's up, up y'all? y'all? It's your girl Virgo. And it's your boy Phoenix here. And we back at it again with another video. Spooky edition. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's my favorite time of year. I love this month. I love spooky season. It's my favorite. Halloween is lit. So, how you feel about Halloween? How you feel about October? And... I'm excited about October. Yeah. I love the spooky stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the weather is just right. Until after, then it just—I'm not interested. <laughs> Listen, summer and fall is for me. Everything else, forget about. It. Yeah. But anyway, so guys, recently, your favorite Virgo won some tickets. All right, on Blood Manor. If you don't know what Blood Manor is, Blood Manor is in New York City. It's the number one haunted house here. It's located in Tribeca, 359 Broadway. You can go on their website, www.bloodmanor.com, and you can look up all the other information that's there. But yeah, so they were doing a giveaway, and the giveaway was for to win two free RIP Express entry tickets. Basically, they have the general, which you wait on the line longer, but the ones that I won, you just go right in faster. So it's like when you go to a theme park, you get like the express tickets, you just go on a different line and it's just a much faster, a quicker wait. Mm -hmm. So that's what I won and I was excited because I was like, oh my God, I love Halloween. Like I was so lucky to even win that. Cause you know how like when you do giveaways, there's so many people in the comments and wanting to win and stuff like that, right? So I was kind of surprised. I was like, oh, <laughs> I was so lucky and I was so hyped. I was like, let's go. But yeah, so we ended up picking a day and we went recently. It was, it was actually lit, but let's rewind, okay? So when I won these tickets, I was nervous, was I not? Yeah. I was contemplating. I was like, do I want to go? Literally the day of, she <laughs> the was day, not feeling that. Yeah, I was not feeling I was like, no, maybe we shouldn't have the day before. Because I feel like I was I, I was scared because I, I didn't know what to expect. And, like, these haunted houses now be, you know, I mean, it's it's a regular haunted house. It's not like it's, like, McKinney Manor. It's not like it's 17 Door. Those houses are a little, a bit little more extra than a regular haunted house, yeah? So, I wasn't <laughs> expecting it to be that because I knew that it was just a regular haunted house. But, like, when you look at the videos and stuff like that, it's like, okay, it must be scary. And I think it was mostly because I haven't been to a haunted house in such a long time. The last time I went to a haunted house, it was actually Blood Manor, I think, or it was another one in the city, I don't know. This was years ago in high school, I don't remember. Because the whole time, um, the group that I went with friends, I was literally like this, just walking, and my eyes were closed the whole time. So obviously, I'm not going to remember anything. <laughs> but yeah, since young, I was kind of a little scaredy cat, but then I ended up I ended up growing like more love for it and stuff like that. Because deep down, like, I just love anything spooky. I love all the horror, all the thriller movies. So I was contemplating. I didn't want to go, but I was also excited. So we went, and here's a clip of us going and me over here nervous <laughs> all right y'all we are out and we're going to blood, blood manor, manor. <laughs> i'm scared as shit yo <laughs> we're gonna see how this goes i'm i'm nervous <laughs> i'm so <laughs> i am so nervous i don't know how he's not nervous I scared myself by watching so many videos of people going there and stuff like that, but we're gonna see how it goes. So yeah, that was the clip. You see, I was a little nervous, but I was excited. And I'm so glad that I pushed my ass to go and you convinced me, you were like, let's just go. Like it's, free I know tickets. it's free tickets at that. <laughs> yeah, and then it's free. And then the people who are acting, they're just regular people just who make like, I know that, but like, I guess, when you just don't know what you're getting yourself into and you haven't been to something in so long, it's kind of like, okay, what am I about to like? I don't even know why I was chicken shit. Now I want to go to every single one. Like, after that experience, I was just like, yo, this is dope. But yeah, so we got there, and this is how the place looks. <laughs> it's 
it's cute, right? I'm so glad that I convinced myself and he convinced me to go. Because I would have been extra tight if I didn't go. Like Super. Yeah. So, outside was really cute. Um, when we were walking there, it was in the Tribeca area. So, like, you can literally, like, right when you turn the corner, you can see that it's there. Like, they have actors outside dressed up. They have the line. They have everybody, like, waiting and, and like, creepy music playing in front. It's really, really dope. The atmosphere was really lit. And, yeah, I was excited. As soon as I got there, I was like, yeah, let's do this. Like, um, we got online really quick. We got inside the haunted house really quick because of the, you know, the kind of tickets that we had. VIP. VIP. Not, not VIP. RIP, okay? So, Same shout out to Blood Manor. Thank you so much for our two free tickets. Um, but, yeah, we went inside. Right when we stepped in, it started. Like, there's no, like, when you step on that block, it starts. Mm -hmm. Literally, like, you just go into Blood Manor world. Like, I love it. It was so dope. If you are in New York City, if you live here, if you're just coming to visit, definitely go. Definitely go. Okay? Um, but, yeah, so we got in. Off rip. It was, it was just starting. Actors popping out. You know us walking and stuff like that it was it was really nice i feel like out of all the haunted houses that i've been to and i haven't really been to a lot but i feel like this was just the best one yet and not because i won tickets because i will be very honest it, it was really the best one the lights were, were on point, the actors were on point, the makeup, the props. The effects. The effects, the rooms, like, I just wanted to like really stand in each, every room for a longer time of period and just like admire everything because it was so well thought out, well yeah. put together, you know? And it was just really nice. Like, I don't, I, I just, it was a really, it was a good time. It was, I, I can't really say anything much about it. Like, you just have to go and experience it yourself because I'm just saying it's good. It's it's so good. Like, you would have to go see to understand. Like, I can't explain how good everything was. Like, it's just really, really, really good. <laughs> like, how far can I, you know? My, I would say, like, I got scared, like, about, what, three times? Like, three times. Yeah. yeah, I got scared by at the very end there was a werewolf like he was literally in the dark just standing, standing there the But corner. I was so distracted y'all I was looking the other way That's why because if I was looking at Peachum, I would have been like all right, and I would have been I would have been like oh, oh. <laughs> But I didn't see him. I was looking the other way and then like I'm walking and then he just comes right here. Oh. I was like oh. <laughs> so and then a witch came out and then a witch came out out of, out of nowhere and this is like right before we're about to exit like this like the, the the haunted attraction is about to be done in any second from now we're about to walk out that door and go right into the gift shop and this this freaking wolf and then the witch I was like ah, 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 ah. <laughs> literally I was doing that and I was doing that going out leaving <laughs> They're probably like, yo, what's wrong with this girl? Was stomping. They probably I was stomping too. <laughs> <laughs> they probably dealt with people like that. And when we, when I got out of the whole thing, when it was done, I was sweating, y'all. I was sweating. Some rooms were a bit musty. Because it's hot and there's so many people going in and out of that shit. That's why. But I'm also sure like some of it is purposely done for the sake of Right, life. right. So we got in real quick. And as soon as we get in, it starts off right as soon as you step your foot right into that door. Um, the first thing I saw was a dead black cat on the floor. Yeah. I thought it was shit. <laughs> I was like, is that shit? Oh, <laughs> it looks like, you know, doo-doo just smeared. It didn't really look like a cat. It was like, I was just like. I saw so literally the legs and the tail on the neck. I didn't. I guess. I guess I. Was, I don't know. But I thought it was shit. So basically, you're online, right? When you go in, it starts, but that's not the start of the haunted house. <laughs> it's just like the start of the experience. Yeah. So as you're waiting to go in, you're. It's already starting. Like, how cool is that? You know. So like, you're walking in, and it's like you're like you think you're going into the haunted house, but you're not. And you're going in, then you go down the stairs, and then like you have to wait against this like wall, which is so freaking cool. It had skulls all over the, the wall. I think it was so dope. 
And while this is happening, you have the scare actors walking around. And this space is very tight too. Like the, the, the hall that you're in is so tight. Yeah. And you have these scare actors just come in. <laughs> All up in your face and stuff like that. And I was just acting cool. I was like, I went like this. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Mad R too. Was... One of the actors, what, uh, I don't even know what character like they were playing. No idea. Just Looked had like, like a lot of makeup, like had like some creepy, a uh, pool, maybe whatever it was, but a little creepy though. I had a lot of makeup, had uh, these kind of like scary contacts, but like I think it was a rat or something, like a uh, toy rat. I don't know what it had something because um, I went like this. I was like, hey, seemed and like a stuffed they, animal. Yeah, it looked yeah. like a stuffed animal. But yeah, so they were waiting. I'm not like I'm a little bit nervous, but like we're already in, so I'm like. This is pretty cool. Like, I was just admiring everything so far. And when we go in, it's like a little box kind of room. And it's like, wait here. So we're walking. And as soon as we're walking forward, there's this guy that just zooms right in front of us. And he's, like, saying these instructions so freaking fast. Get away from the And then he freaking goes to his crotch and is like a, a um, horn. Um, um, um. He just honks his nuts, basically. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, and then he opens the door, he's like, go! So then we, we go, we're going. And I'm like, okay, this is cool, I guess it started, it's like, where are we going? And after that, we that's when it started, right? That's so cool. after that door, after he tells you the instructions, that's when it, it officially starts. It was a lot of things happening, y'all. But I can say what I do remember is, there was a seance room where there was like these, not witches, but like they looked like women. I think the sign of the cross was upside down on their forehead. They looked like, you know, very demonic and they, everything was like blood on the walls and like I think blood was uh, drawn on the floor with like a circle and stuff. There was candles. It was very creepy and they wanted us to join. <laughs> yeah, that was actually. And I wanted yeah. to actually stay in that room and actually like really look around. It was really really cool like how they did that room. Uh, there was a a blackout room, meaning like no lights. It was completely dark. Pitch black. Pitch black. You cannot see nothing. And what they did was they had like these what was it strings or something? Yeah. It was like strings like, hanging. Like strings hanging. Yeah. So like when you're walking, it's like that shit is touching you and you're like, oh, what the fuck? But um. There were people in that room with flashlights, so they would do it. They'll bring up the flashlight every now and then. And it's like, you'll see, and it's like, oh shit, you'll see them there. And we kept walking, and it was dark, and then all of a sudden I hear in my ear, you're gonna die. I was like, ah! <laughs> That's when I screamed. I was like, he said I'm gonna die. <laughs> and I was like, go. Oh. You felt me in the back. I was like, go. <laughs> so we walked into like this more kind of like, doctor hospital kind of vibe like she was like the doctor and then the patient was on the the bed crying for help and i really do like how these actors were engaging with you like when you come in the room if they were an actor that needed help they were like please help me oh my god and i'm like i'm sorry i wish i could help you <laughs> it was so cool they were really 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 into character yeah. um and like like I was saying, like the props, the lights, the, the detail that they gave and, and how they thought out everything, I think was really super dope. There was also, oh, shout out to that person that was like pretending to be a statue. Oh, yeah. With the doll, right? Was, it was like, it was, was a baby a doll? One. I don't know. He had like some kind of, I think it was a bunny doll. It was like a bunny or some type of doll. And this actor was just there like this. And I'm telling you, looked like a statue. Like... Mm -hmm. And the guy in front of us didn't know that, like... He walked up and he wanted to touch the bunny. Yeah, and he I, and man, he did not know that that was a, like, he was real. Them. That guy must must have thought it was a, it was a, um, a statue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he went up to who was, like, touching, and as soon as the guy <laughs> went to go, like, interact with, like, hey, the doll, what's up? The guy just spooked him, and he was like, oh, shit! <laughs> and he... I was like, oh. I remember uh, people hanging on, like, like literally on top of the wall. Oh, yeah. You had to duck on this dude's nuts to get through. Walk, yeah. Yeah. It was fun. We played Limbo a couple times. Yeah, it was I twice. played Limbo. I was like, Limbo, Limbo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
I'm trying to say as much as I can because whatever you know, is most memorable. Yeah, you know what I'm this shit was freaking lit. Like it was, it, was a, it was a lot going on. You hear yeah. people screaming. Mm -hmm. You hear a lot of thumping, mm -hmm. roaring, ah, whatever the fuck. Like you just see it. You're hearing and you're seeing a lot. Talking about screaming, the girl behind us. <sighs> shout out to you, girl, because you got some good lungs. <laughs> she was screaming like the whole time. Homegirl was scared for her life, and it was mad funny. I was like, oh. <laughs> but like, you hear screams from over there, you hear screams from over like, cause, you know, the, the walls are probably thin too, so you're yeah. hearing screams from the other room, and you're like, what the fuck? And yeah. then like, she's back. Like, it screams everywhere. I was just like, what the hell? But it was really fun. Uh, we ended up going up the stairs at, at some point, and they ended up giving us 3D, 3D glasses. glasses. Here comes the effects, people. She was lit. OD. Everything, I, like, oh my god, it's trippy because you put them on, everything is like more in your face, mm -hmm. like, and whoa, like. And the actors, they had uh, whatever the it was, the it paint was that was on light. the floors and stuff like that. It was like paint, and they, they had. They also had it on them. Mm -hmm. So when they move, they appear more closer mm -hmm. to your face than usual. It's the UV light. So basically, the UV light makes it glow in the like in the dark. So it has like this neon effect. So when you have the, the 3D glasses, that shit is more popped out. And even when they came close, it was more closer to you when you have the 3D glasses on. So like he could be right here, but what you're seeing with those glasses, he this nigga's like right there. Like that shit was nuts. Like every time they came close to me, I was like this. I was like, cause I was like, damn, all up in my face. But if you take them off, he's like right here. I was like, damn. Uh, I feel like it's pretty dope that they have, what was it, two floors, right? Okay, so two floors. I think it's dope that they incorporate that because I feel like haunted houses don't. I feel like it's just one floor. They'll just do, like, you just walk through and then that's it. It's done, you know? So I think it's dope that they used the two floor and they also incorporated 3D effects. That shit was lit. And the thing is, yo, every corner, an actor's coming out. That shit was wild. Like, you get scared, oh, and then, like, right before you turn this way, there's one right here. I'm like, yo, that... <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah, it was freaking dope. Oh, dude. And, oh, we forgot the body bag room. Yo, there was some girl... Literally, I'm telling y'all, she she was behind like the body bags, like they were all bloody, and she was. Oh, I, can't, I can't do okay. it. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It wasn't. It, there were body bags, but it was a slaughterhouse. There were uh -huh. bodies hanging hanging from the ceiling, and you couldn't see past them. But there was this girl literally walking backwards, leaning to uh, her back like this. And she came and spooked her. That was the first spook. Yeah, her. that was the first, yeah. Because yeah. I'm walking, I'm like going through the body. And I went in front of him. I was like, I'm getting out of this room. I'm like, move, move. And then she, I didn't even see her. And all of a sudden, she just comes. I'm like. Aah. And then, I don't know, she went behind me. Because I'm busy. I'm too busy trying to get out. So I'm like trying to like. She and then back. all of a sudden, she came back. And she's on this side of me. First she was here, then. I just ran out the room. I was like, ah! <laughs> it was funny, it was funny. It was funny. But she was, she was definitely the, the first spook. She caught me off guard. I think that's that's what it is. I was not expecting that. Because the other guy, she was with in that room. He, he was, was just regular. He like, was by the entrance and he was just talking like this. I don't know what the hell he was saying, but he was like this. And it, it was, it was Oh, he was saying something like, oh, we need more bodies or something like that. Can Oof. you join us? Blah, 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 blah. No, no. <laughs> no, thank you. I just looked at him, I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> not me, <laughs> but yeah, and then we went to, uh, we did the clown, and then there was this big girl, uh, she yeah, was, I was, I was trying, to, I was trying to get past her, but she got in front of me, and she moved me, and she said, move to the, uh, gestured me to move to the side, pointed at her, and she was like, I want her, I was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, and she came right here and stiffed my neck, she was like, you smell good, you can live, go. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Thank God I put some perfume. Ew. I think it was lit, you know, um, we got to the end. The animatronics too was good. The animatronics yeah, was, was good. Animatronics. You know when you go to a haunted house or any type of like, and it's whack and they're just like, Yay! Like they look weird. 
I know you know. Like, come yeah, on. But, the, uh, people, <laughs> like, I don't know how to des describe it. Like, they just, like, like, they, like just they just look. They just, yeah, yeah. And then come back. Like, that's what they yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. And then they do it again. <laughs> Listen, no. We were not looking at that. It, it was... It was pretty cool. There was a whole, what is it, rat or wolf man eating a, a body? Yeah, it was a wolf. And it was like a werewolf. It was pretty creepy. And that was a whole animatronic on top of a body, like eating. And that shit was creepy. I was like, oh, you know? So I think what they did with the makeup and everything, like the detail, like I said, they. Pretty good. Pretty their good team stuff, of people though. is genius. That, mm -hmm. that shit is, is dope. I feel like. It's just gonna get better and better, you know? I, I actually wanna go again. Yeah, it was dope, you know, after that, when we came out, I was sweating, cause I'm over here like, <gasps> but it was hot in there though. And then we got out, we took pictures. Yeah, we got to the gift shop right at the end. We took pictures. Look how cute we look. <laughs> but yeah, there was a lot of people, um, but I can tell you that they're very professional and they they make the line move. Like they, they get shit going, so. Yeah. Definitely if you're general mission, it's less than the RIP Express. But I feel like honestly, if you go with a group of friends and you're online waiting and you have general mission, it's gonna go by like this the time. Just make sure you're on your time slot and that's it, you're, you're fine. Yeah. Um, because they, it's not like they just send like a group and then they wait till they finish the, the haunted house and then they send you in. No, they send like a whole bunch. They keep sending. Yeah. So I feel like you'll be fine even if you get whatever ticket. Uh, the gift shop was, you know, it was very, the gift shop was decorated cute, spooky. It had the skulls, it had the whole Blood Manor sign. Like there's two photo ops. There's one with like a chair and it has the skulls with the Blood Manor on top. And then there's another one where it's like, like a front of a like a house. Uh-huh, like in front basically. of like a haunted house door. Mm -hmm. And then you have the hot like and then it says Blood Manor on top. It's pretty dope. They mm -hmm. have like sweaters, they have shirts. I didn't really get to look at what else they had. But definitely if you get the chance and you go, take a look. Yeah. And yeah, I think you guys should go. Try to go before spooky season is over. I know the last day I think is November third, I believe. Go on their website, ww bloodmanner.com and check it out also fun fact this location is actually really haunted according to the so, uh, uh, yeah and if you go on the website you could read about the story and stuff like that and how it came about and everything so go do that on www.bloodmanner.com but yeah guys that was our review about blood manor it's in NYC, in the Tribeca area at 359 Broadway. It's New York's number one haunted house. We rate it a nine out of 10. Definitely go if you have the chance to go. It is definitely worth it. You know, I would have been honest. I would have been like, eh, you know, everybody has their opinion, you know. But from what we, we had a good time. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed ourselves. We, we want to say thank you, Blood Manor, for inviting us. Thank you for the free tickets. And until next time, remember, for those who are new, give us a like, comment down below about your experiences of haunted houses. Mm -hmm. and don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Yep. And make sure also, if you guys want to comment and let us know where else you guys want us to go during this spooky season, yes, definitely comment below. Let us know if there's another haunted house that you know that you want us to go try or any haunted spooky Kind of location like it could be a restaurant it could be whatever let us know all right let us know if you've been to a haunted house mm -hmm. let us know what you think all right so until next time y'all it's your girl virgo and it's your boy phoenix eh? and bye